Delta 3D printers are some of my favorite machines to watch. The way they use three axes to triangulate the position of the print head with extreme speed and precision is mesmerizing. And when it comes to Delta machines, FL Sun has made some of my favorite. The QQS Pro back in 2018 was my first venture into Delta kinematics, and I was blown away with both the speed and the quality of the 3D prints, especially compared to the Ender 3 style machines I had at the time. This is their latest 3D printer, the V400, and they claim it can reach print speeds of 400 millimeters per second. Along with fast speeds, it boasts some pretty cool features. Direct drive lightweight extruder, volcano style hot end, auto mesh bed leveling, removable PEI coated bed, carbon fiber rods, and the star of the show, this seven inch touchscreen module they've aptly named the speeder pad. It houses a single board computer that runs the Clipper firmware and hosts the mainsail UI. Setup is super easy and all you have to do is run a calibration using this magnetic probe. This lets the machine know the exact location of the three axes, followed by a mesh bed level and the traditional Z offset paper test. Reviewing 3D printers in 2023 is tough because there's a bit of an elephant in the room. If this was 2020, I'd probably sit here and tell you that this is the fastest printer on the market with a handful of features that you can't find anywhere else. But that's just not the case in this post Bamboo Labs world. A lot of the features on the V400 are neatly packed into a user-friendly experience in the Bamboo Labs machines. And in the case of the P1P, cost significantly less. So it really comes down to if you want part availability for repairs and upgrades and want the expandability of an open source platform like Clipper. But there's really only one logical thing to do here and that's put this thing head to head with the Bamboo Labs P1P. Here's the Wild Rose Builds test cube off the P1P. This file is free up on printables if you want to test your current machine to compare. And here's the V400 print. The built-in tuning of the P1P really shines through here with its surface finish. Next I moved on to a bench heat. This took just under 34 minutes to complete, and while not perfect, its print time is pretty comparable to the P1P. The profile in Kira I'm using has a top print speed of about 300 millimeters per second. Here's one printed at 400 millimeters per second. This looks more or less the same, and I think the amount of time it takes to accelerate and decelerate with these small perimeters means the printer isn't really reaching max speed here. After sharing my results with the team at FL Sun, they sent me a different version of Cura with an optimized profile for the V400 at 400mm per second. Here's the resulting Benchy with a print time of 33 minutes. And here's the Wild Rose Builds test cube again. This actually printed 15 minutes faster than the Bamboo Labs print, and aside from a little bit of stringing, is arguably just as good. talk for a minute about the speeder pad. This is my first time using Clipper firmware and having the machine firmware and Clipper configured out of the box significantly lowers the barrier to entry. Even as someone who's set up countless Octoprint installs, Clipper always seemed a bit daunting. But after a short time using this default configuration, I really see why people like it 
and I've already started thinking of ways I can customize it to enhance the specific things I need from my 3D printer. The Mainsail UI has a wealth of information that I really find helpful and having this dashboard open on my second monitor means I can track every aspect of my print without having to hover around my printer. Okay, back to printing. I wanted to try some functional printing on this machine so I loaded up this headphone holder clamp. This took two hours of print time and Bamboo Lab Slicer quoted one hour 50 minutes for the same print job. Here's the bottom half of a rugged container from user Whitey on printables. Coming in at 2 hours and 30 minutes, this thing is a great functional print. There's some definition lost around sharp corners and a fair amount of ringing, but this print is more than usable. I think with enough fiddling and tuning, this thing could easily produce great prints at speeds at or above 400 millimeters per second. And with a fully open source install of Clipper and endless customization, this thing has the potential to be a solid, fast printer. One of the things that really stood out to me is the ability to plug a decent quality webcam directly into the speeder pad for time lapses and print monitoring. The Bamboo Labs P1P camera module is borderline unusable even for print monitoring at 720p and half a frame per second. One thing I'd like to see in the future from FL Sun is the inclusion of an accelerometer on the tool head for use with input shaping. But either way, that's a pretty cheap upgrade. So if you want to get your hands dirty with some Linux and Python programming to squeeze every ounce of performance and functionality out of your machine, then this might be worth looking into. Not to mention the readily available hardware for upgrades and repairs. I hope this gave you some insight into the FL Sun V400. If you're interested, I'll leave a link to the FL Sun site so you can check it out. As always, thanks for watching and happy printing.